Well, I feel like that's how we came together to begin with. It was never like, uh, you complete me. That was never our... Sure. We were never that. It was like, uh, you know, I will celebrate you as you realize all your dreams. That's sort of the tagline of our marriage, right? It was never, I expect you to do X, Y, and Z for me, I don't think. No? No. No. So, um, yeah, it's pretty amazing, actually, for me to sit here. And of course, I didn't read any of those comments. But for you to tell me that people said that about our marriage. And do you know how much reaction I have to that? I don't know. Zero. Zero. Like, literally, there is nothing living in me. Well, that, that stuff doesn't bother me at all because they have they don't know. So, like, well, how, why would that bother me? But like, it's just, no it's cool because it, it's an indication of the clarity and the truth of where we really are. Because if we were in trouble or we were not up, you know, not honest about certain aspects, you could never post something like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. It would be way too vulnerable. So yeah, I mean, that just works really, really well for us. I think we're, we're both incredibly independent. We're also having this sort of um, alchemization of extreme polarities between you and me, how completely different we are. And that causes a friction that has been causing, creating an alchemy and an evolution between us. And I now don't find you as polar extreme as I did before. Or annoying. Well, that's part of it, but I'm sure <laughs> that goes both yeah. ways. Yeah, so I'm I'm sort of feeling like we're starting to sort of become same, like a sameness of metal, metal, M-E-T-T-L-E, uh, you know, like... It's like the passage from the Ramayana that I that I read to you, that I sent to you on our eighth wedding anniversary, where it talks about how we've been battered by the shores and the waves of life, and we've come into a certain beauty, a ruggedness of nature that is only achieved through the, those experiences mm-hmm. of life. Mm-hmm. And so... Right now, I mean, for my sadhana and what I do, it's like, I don't want you in my bedroom. Like, first of all, I'm doing stuff in my sleep state. I'm processing energy. I'm in my own exploration. So I need that container so that I can develop myself uh, in the manner that I meant to. Same way you need your own spaces. And one of those spaces just happens to be a tent. Yes, the tent, (laughs) which I love. But I will just say for the record, I mean, our intimacy is actually extraordinarily uh, well. And it's still amazing to me that we could be together this many years. And the, the plus for me, for him being in a tent on a daily basis, is when we are together, it's like being with my boyfriend for the first time every time. Mm. Sorry for the sharing too much, but I like, since no. you guys asked. Yeah, no, that's that's a good answer. And I think that's accurate. Like I I share that that perspective. Um, you know, neither of us are people who like need to be by each other's side 24 hours a day. Uh, but when we do come together, it has to be special. We have to be present and we can make that, you know, that intimate time mean a little bit more, I think. And so it works for us. Maybe it doesn't work for other people out there, but it's been working for us quite well. And that's all that matters. Yeah. 